Welcome to Something Seems Similar, where we're going to look at the properties of similar triangles. Looking at the properties of similar triangles and proving triangles are similar are very similar, haha, similar to what you did with congruent triangles. It says two triangles are said to be similar if they have the same shape. It says but they are different sizes or same size. So it's different shapes and it may or may not be a different size. So it means that corresponding angles are equal and the ratio of corresponding sides are equal. So for instance, if this side is twice as big as this side, then this side would be twice as big as this side and this side would be twice as big as that side. That's what it means by the ratios of corresponding sides are equal. So in this example here, Remember that the order of the letters matters. So if triangle ABC is similar to DEF, we're going to list all the pairs of corresponding angles. Angles. Well, you can see here, because there's one line here, angle A is equal to angle D. But you could also tell that from here. A is the first written, so that goes with D, which is the first letter written. Two lines B is equal to E, and B is the second letter written, and E is the second letter written. And three ticks C is equal to three ticks F, and that is the third letter written. So the order of the letters indicates the order of the equal angles. And the pairs of corresponding sides by looking at the picture, side AB goes from the one line to the two lines, so that corresponds to side DE. So the ratio of AB over DE is equal to one line to three lines, AC over DF, and in between the two lines and the three lines, BC would go with EF. And once again, you can tell that by looking at the order here. AB is the first two, so it would go with DF. AC is the first and the last, so it would go with DF. And BC is the second and third, so it would go with EF. So again, the order of the letter tells you which sides go together. In example two, we've got some Z patterns that you have to take a look at. So because of the Z pattern, angle D is equal to angle B. Again, D and B are the first letters. Angle E is equal to angle A because of the Z pattern. And again, E is the second letter written, A is the second letter written. And because these are opposite angles, they are equal. So that means angle, now you can't say angle C equals angle C because there's two angle C's. So what you'd have to do is call this angle DCE, where C, so the middle letter, is the vertex of the angle. So D, C, E, and you're not going to say it's equal to A, B, C. You're going to write it's equal to B, C, A. Because again, angle D has to go with angle B. And the corresponding sides, D, E, would go with B, A. 
not AB, because it goes one line to two lines. DE goes with BA. DC, one line to three lines, would go with BC, one line to three lines. And EC, two lines to three lines, would go with AC, two lines to three lines. The third type of similar triangles you're going to get is when you've got one triangle inside the other. So I would want you to look at triangle. You've got this big triangle here, BAC. And then what I want you to do is to compare that with triangle BDE. And what might help is if you actually take this one on the outside. Unfortunately, I didn't make that very straight. And that is B, D, E. So the corresponding angles, B is equal to B. So angle B is equal to angle B. And angle D is equal to angle A. But you can't just say angle D because we don't know if you're talking about this angle or if you're talking about that angle. So once again, you have to use three letters. B, D, E, which is this one right here. B, D, E. is equal to this one right here because of the F pattern. B, A, C. And B, E, D, which is this one here, B, E, D, is equal to B, C, A because of the F pattern. So if it's an angle like B, there's no other angle that could be B. So you can just use one letter. But with angle D, you'd have to use three letters because D could be this angle here or it could be this angle here. Angle A and angle C, I guess we could have just written those as angle A, angle A and angle C but you could write it as the three letters as well. It doesn't really matter. So listing the corresponding sides. So BD will go with BA. BE will go with BC. And DE will go with AC. So that's how you write down the corresponding angles and corresponding ratios of sides. And all this really means here, other than the angles being equal, is that the ratio of this smaller triangle to the bigger triangle might be something like All of these might e equal, for instance, one half. Uh, the size of this triangle compared to the size of this triangle might equal like four over five. And the size of this triangle compared to the size of this triangle might equal like two over five. So it just gives a ratio between the two sides, but you'll see it in action later on. When proving similar triangles, once again, you have your sufficiency conditions. If you know that two sides of one triangle are equal to two sides of the other triangle, then you know that the two triangles are similar. 
and the symbol for similar is just this squiggle. If you know that the ratio of these three sides and these three sides are all equal, so for instance, 5 over 10 has a ratio of 1 to 2, 8 over 16 has a ratio of 1 to 2, and 11 over 22 has a ratio of 1 to 2. They all have a ratio of 1 to 2. So if the ratios of the three sides are all the same, then it is similar. And if the ratio of two sides are the same, so if that's a ratio of 1 to 2, and that's a ratio of 1 to 2, and then you have a contained angle that's equal, then it's side angle side. And rather than saying SAS similarity, you could write that as SAS similarity. This is SSS similarity, and this is AA similarity. You do have to make that symbol to show that they're similar, not congruent. So we'll do a couple of examples and then we'll leave you with a couple of examples to do. This video will probably run over time, so we'll have a part two to this video. When you have the side lengths, it's easy to figure out which sides go with which. So for instance, the two smallest sides means that AB corresponds with DE. So the ratio of AB to DE is 2 over 4. Oops. 2 over 4, which in lowest terms is 1 half. So that side is 1 half of that side. The next largest side is AC and DF. So AC corresponds with DF. And that is 5 over 10. That also is 1 to 2 in lowest terms. So this side is one half of this side. Looking good so far. Lastly, the largest side, CB, would correspond with FE. Which means that would be 6 over 12, which is one half. So, the ratios are all the same, so you would say, therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle, get the letters right, ABCDEF. And it's because of side, side, side similarity, because the ratios of the three sides are the same. So, to prove that they are similar is this work right here. This is proving they are similar. The sufficient, sufficiency condition is this right here, because that's showing um, which of the conditions it is, if it's side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, similarity. And lastly, the similarity statement is here, the statement stating that the two triangles are equal. Okay, we're about to run out of time on this video, so we're going to finish it in part two. So you'll be able to finish this video and then press or go to part two of this video to continue with the examples. Do not forget to play part two. Thank you.